Welcome back, friends and family, today, Lowrider Magazine, July 1984. On the cover, we have a 53 Chevy truck. I don't know if those are real Lancers or aftermarket, but what I do know, the center usually looks a little bit different, and the Lancer hubcap uh, back in the day was one of the most stolen hubcaps, maybe even the like the most stolen one because everybody, all the custom guys, everybody wanted that Lancer hubcap. And I think it's a really good looking hubcap. Anyhow, let's get this started. Here we see what's going on in this issue. I love the dark print Lowrider logo up there. And as always, if you wanna pause to read, here's your chance. I always love to read those, but I think if I would go through all of them, that video would be like an hour long or something. So, what do we have here? 64 Chevy Rectop. Nice looking Nova, I think. I always liked those later year Novas. It's, it's less like a, you know, like a muscle car. It, it more looks like a cool, I don't know. You rarely see those. And on some true spokes. There we have a Pontiac. I don't know which year I'm horrible with Pontiacs, but this thing is is really cool. But it looks to me that the fronts are reverse and the rear wheels, the Kragers, I think those are Kragers, they almost look standard. I uh, probably had to do that because of the rear axle. Nice lineup. Uh, a T Bird. I don't know. It's that's, that's another T-Bird, I think, M Monte Carlo. I don't know if this is that thing. Looks like a Chrysler. 50, 49, 50 Chrysler, Lesotho, Plymouth. I have no idea with those Mopras, sorry. And this is very special to me. Good looking olds on some Kragers with side pipes. And I love those headlight covers. And I'm still debating, uh, as I mentioned before, I have a, right now building a, six, uh, a 71, sorry, a 71 Chevy Impala. And I don't know if I should make my own headlight covers like those because they were the thing back in the day or if I should go like a, a totally different way route and put in some, some Sibi headlights. I don't know if you're familiar with CB headlights. It was like a, a custom thing in the 60s. But there are some cars from the 70s that still had CBs. If you're not familiar or you want to know more about that, I'm working on a video. Right now I'm just collecting as many uh, photos, pictures as possible to uh, show you guys what I mean if I talk about you know, CB headlights. So, yeah, if you used to be on the Los Bolivaros, um, you probably know what CBs are. Anyhow, sorry for my... This will come out like pretty soon, I promise. And I'm sorry that I don't post every week at the moment. But uh, here we see a very clean looking Monte Carlo. I think those guys are out of Bakersfield. Yeah, Bakersfield. There's a guy on Instagram who has a ton of photos from that car club. Yeah, good looking car. Santa Ana Festival. And as always, if you see yourself or you see someone that you know in one of those photos, please let me know. And please share that. I always love, like I had a couple of you guys reach out and tell me that their mom or their brother or, you know, someone they knew was featured in one of those Lowrider magazines. And I really love that. That's it keeps history alive and it's, it's, it's really cool to know like what kind of people were in there you know 
to just get more insight how it used to like how it used to be back then. Wow, what a good looking car. Wow, that color. I don't even know what that is. Maybe a Pontiac? Definitely not a Buick, but looks like the roof looks like Buick. Uh, Cadillac. What a good looking car. I love the colors. I love, it looks like the car itself is like, like a darker blue. And then you have like pink, magenta, blue. Beautiful. What a good looking car. Wow. Oh, it's a 79 Bonville from City Car Club, that's San Diego. What a good looking car. What a good looking car, hey. Man, I always say that it's so sad that you don't see like like Pontiacs and Buicks and also build that often nowadays. Nowadays you just see like everybody has an Impala and that's, you know, if you type in Lowrider, that's probably what you get. A 64 Chevy Impala, but those things, like all the Thunderbirds, all the 70s, like LTDs, all the like beautiful cars, beautiful cars. Beautiful. And we have Cinco de Mayo in San Jose. Nice bump. Wow. So many people. Crazy. They're all having a good time. Here, if you want to read that. Cinco de Mayo in Denver. I'm sure you guys watched like this weekend's and last weekend's uh, Lowrider Garage. Like Joe Ray, he went to the Super Show in Denver and then uh, this week he visited the uh, High Class Car Club of Denver. I love that Rivera. I love that Impala. 63. Those later year uh, Buick Riveras, they always remind me, I don't know if you guys know that movie, uh, Bruce Willis, I think before he did uh, the Die Hard movies, he, he did a movie called The Last Boy Scout or whatever. I really liked that movie and he, and he drove one of those. He was like a private detective or something. I love those Kallax. They make such a good lowrider. They just look so good. I don't know. And we have a Lincoln, also a beautiful car. And we have a little G-Body. Wow, that is a story in King. That is a San Jose. And I'm sure if you guys uh, Google on here on YouTube, uh, story and King or like uh, cruising San Jose back in the day or something like that. I, I think there is one from Like like late 70s early 80s or whatever if I find it I post it But you still have to you know like search it yourself because I'm not one of those fancy youtubers who know how to Link a video I maybe try it, but if, if not just look up the video that I post here there are a couple of of really good, uh, you know, videos from like back in the day when like news, like a news channel went there and checked out the cruising scene. Wow, oh, that thing looks cool. Wow, look at that, a 58, a 58 Chevy Impala. Convertible, full of kids, full of kids. You never would see that nowadays. That is insane. And he has all the chrome. Like, Jesus, 
That is so cool. And he's just having a fun time. That is so cool. I don't know if those are Yankee aftermarket or if those are the crazy expensive uh, uh, GM accessory uh, uh, fender mirrors because they had some like this back in the day and they are, if you look at them now, they're crazy expensive, crazy expensive. But I just love this. This, this should be, like this should be a photo, like this should be a poster. This is so cool, hey, man. Um, I wish there would be more pictures and like better pictures. There is a book that uh, came out like last year or something from, um, I don't know the guy's name, but he did like uh, the nice Boulevard and he was there I don't know like in 72 the book is like 19 bucks you guys if you into like you know like the cruising thing San Fernando Valley the nice boulevard and stuff like that they it's it's an awesome book and it's like you guys are probably familiar with most of the photos because those are the black and white photos from back in the day there are a couple of photos of uh, lowriders uh, vans hot roads, muscle cars, and just like people hanging out on the sidewalk. Um, really cool. And I think that 72 was the last year for like really that cruising scene. How you, you know, like that, um, like what you see in uh, Corvette Summer, I think. Then there's a, another movie called Venice. And this is kind of like really good photographs though sorry i just talked too much today that's a ford crazy to see a, a ford galaxy as a lowrider this thing looks cool with, with two chicks driving it a camaro i think nice a 38 chevy like man I wish those photos would be you know like high gloss high definition those oh, so cool so cool sorry by the way if you want to read that I don't know that's kind of weird Wow, look at that. Look at that paint. That is so good looking. Wow. It looks like the car is black. And and this is just like just faded in with like some red or pink uh candy. Looks so good. What a good looking car hey. Nightfire. Oh guys, you really should read this because I'm not gonna read it. He bought that three years ago and he was 16 years old. That is pretty impressive. And everything is chromed. And this paint shop just looks amazing. What a good looking car. Really good looking car. And you uh, usually you would see this kind of of paint way smaller and then they always try to to replicate like roses you know and this kind of looks like a rose you like a uh, rip apart like a shape like this you know paper that's kind of shaped like this and then you just move it from the inside out so you get like this rose look I think but this is just this is Looks so good. Oh, it made Lowrider of the Month. Pretty impressive. Pretty good car. Really good looking car. And, and he has panels on the side too. And I love the blue pinstriping. What a good contrast to the pink, the black, with the blue. That's really good looking. I, I think that 
that red and blue on black always goes goes very well what a good looking car made fire here here's the inside beautiful upholstery man i hope that this comes back because nowadays everybody is just doing everything like super original with all the accessories but man you feel so so comfortable in a car like this it's unbelievable and they always feel gangster sorry if i say gangster the whole time today there you have more of the story and everything chromed underneath what a good looking car Wow. Wow, an El Camino with a Hollywood roof, with a Hollywood top, sorry. I don't know how that feels, you know, because you don't have that much of a gap. There we have a Cadillac. Beautiful Chevy Fastback. Wow, this thing almost looks like Corvette summer. It's chopped. That is so much work. And it has a crazy, like, flip front end. One piece. Another beautiful Cadillac. Just look at this. Looks so classic, this thing. So good. A 56. Connie Nettle kit. Hell yeah. Bumper guards. Wow. Hold on. And cut. Sorry, my cat interrupted me. And he's always loud at the door. So I stopped the video and now we continue. Beautiful, beautiful 58 Ford Fairlane. And I think it's a rare sight. Usually you see um, in 59 they changed. They renamed the model, I think, then it was a Ford Galaxy before it always was a Ford Fairlane, but I'm not a Ford guy. I love the Continental Kit, I love the artwork on there. It looks pretty. The taillights look kind of like an Edsel, so I don't know if he changed that or not, but what a pretty car, especially like on, on hydraulics. What a good looking car. And I think this car is still around, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyhow, Griffith Park, beautiful 35 Chevy with side pipes and on wire wheels. Nice helmet. And Corvette. Beautiful, I love those. And a 39. ABC cancels, aka Pablo. Okay guys, and here I have to admit, I messed up. The moment I saw this name, Bernd Carlson, Sweden, I knew that this is Pink Lady. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago about that car and I thought I researched everything. And I really try, every time I go deep on like those milestone cars kind of, you know, I really try to do my best. I try to read everything there is on the lay low. I try to be on like everywhere and just look for for old pictures and I did not find any more. Now this car later became this car. As you guys probably saw in my uh, previous video and you, you probably saw that growing up in the 80s, in the 90s in some car magazine because this thing 
it really kind of famous and it went around the world it was built in Sweden but I did not know that it looked like this before so really really sorry so anyhow you already see that he chopped it I think he, he chopped it a little bit more than later because you can see it's way more down later than there but this uh, this version I think already looks awesome so again Check out my other video, There's, there will be a link in the description. I hope I don't forget about that. Anyhow, here you see the French taillights. The headlights just look awesome how he French them in. And um, what's really, like nowadays, you know, you see uh, like lowriders in Japan, you see lowriders in Russia, you see lowriders all over the place and everybody has wire wheels on. But back then it wasn't that easy, especially in Europe, to get wire wheels. So uh, wheels, baby moons. So he just has those wire wheel hubcaps that look like wire wheels. Usually they came on Kragers. Krager had like a wheel that uh, came with hubcaps that I think those are those hubcaps he just put them on different wheels and um, it wasn't that easy to get custom stuff all over the place as you guys probably know if you're older it was the same thing in the US but what a pretty car the paint is just awesome and so much work so much work and it really freaked me out like going through this magazine and seeing those pictures because I was reading everything I could on the lay low everywhere and I couldn't find I could I, I couldn't find more and I had that before where I, I probably gonna do some some little videos that go like that should add if I find more about uh, cars. There's another one coming soon about Casanova, which is also not that easy. So, I love uh, chromed running boards. I think they are chrome, they look chrome. Uh, that's a truck from the cover. I don't know how I feel about the continent, uh, the, the wheel cover, which is actually a cover from a later continental kit. But I don't know. Prince, Renegade of Sex and Sin, Roots of Loneliness and Poverty. Inland Empire. East Side Story. All the oldies, awesome. Hugh San Fernando Valley. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I don't want to be like all the other YouTube guys here. Like, please, I don't know. Just hit the like and subscribe if you want to. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.